Hey y'all, this is my 100th video for YouTube. And I'm actually doing this the night before I'm going to finish it tomorrow at my uh, sister's house. But I'm making uh, an Italian meal to celebrate my 100th. And so what I wanted to do is go ahead and make an Italian uh, cream cheese cake. So with ricotta cheese and cream cheese and uh, sour cream. Anyhow, it's, it's a little bit different from your normal cheesecake. So I, I have to bake it tonight and let it cool and then put it in the refrigerator overnight so that I can take it there um, after it's already cooled. So I couldn't wait and cook it there tomorrow. Just wanted to give you that little information so you know why I'm doing this video in different sections like this. But anyhow, I'm starting off, I'm putting two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. I've already put those over here in my mixer. Now I'm going to add in two cups of ricotta cheese. And I'm going to blend those together. So it might get a little bit noisy. So just put up with it. Just blending those together for a few minutes. And then I'm going to stir in a cup and a half of sugar. And it's just normal granulated sugar. eggs that I've already cracked and put in this bowl. So I'm going to add those in. A little bit gradually. Hard to do eggs gradually. And more to crack them like that. Alright. And then I'm going to add in a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I could have used a fresh lemon juice, but it's just easier to do this. So. Let's take some lemon juice. And now a teaspoon of vanilla. way I've already um, preheated my oven to 350. Now I'm going to add in three tablespoons of cornstarch which I've already measured out into this little dish. This is for help thicken the, the batter up. And I've also got three tablespoons of flour. This is just plain flour. one stick or half a cup of butter that I've melted in the microwave. going to scrape the sides down and then start it over um, before I add in the sour cream. Thank you. 
should be it, y'all. That's all the ingredients that are going in it. I'm wipe my hands off here. Um, that's pretty well stirred. sprayed a springform pan so that when I put this in there it won't stick so bad. I'm going to try to take it out hopefully. But this, this kind of cheesecake does not have a cr bottom crust. So it's not your typical American cheesecake. So Let's hope that it will work. I've never made it before, so I like to try new things, and this is definitely a different thing for me. So I'm just going to pour this right in my springform pan that I've already greased. Let's see if I can put it out here where y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to come around this way. So it makes a lot of batter, so you gotta have a pretty good size springform pan here, which I do. So. Anyhow, I'm going to get this in the oven and bake for about an hour, I believe it said, and then it's going to rest in the oven you know, cool off for an hour, and then after that we'll put it in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow we'll undo it from the pan. But we'll do that at my sister's house. So, anyhow, I'm excited about this. And y'all, I'm just going to have to take a little lick, you know. You got to taste. Mmm. Oh boy. That tastes good already. The lemon, oh my gosh, that gives it a really good flavor. Of course, with the uh, cream cheese and everything else. Yummy. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. I will uh, see y'all tomorrow. Remember, um, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can always see all of my YouTube videos. Love y'all, see you tomorrow. Don't, you keep your finger. Okay, there we go. Now we're on. <laughs> I've got a, a camera person who's helping me today. I'm over here at my sister's house. Her name is Jo. Come right here, Jo. I've got to introduce you. Mm -hmm. This is my sister, my baby mm -hmm. sister. And um, we're over here in Juliet, Georgia, in her brand new kitchen, which we'll swing around and give you a tour of it in a little bit. But... Um, Anyhow, uh, she's going to be operating the camera for us because it's a little bit too far away for me to reach and do it myself. So, thank you so much for your assistance. You're welcome. <laughs> and this is her son, David, who's here. And he um, he's a, actually almost a film star himself, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I was going at it, but the pandemic kind of uh -oh. messed it up some. So, but I'll get back What soon. do you call those, like... Um, people that are in the films like that. Oh, actors? Yeah, yeah, like what you were doing. Um, acting. Yeah. A <laughs> acting at a acting school. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, did, but did you have speaking parts? Well, well, that's just where I was training, you know, to be an actor, but um, I had, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, roles that I, you know, auditioned for and I got, I've done a few independent films and, uh, I've done a commercial and you know, just little things. Not much. Oh, fun. I, no, no big star to me hey, <laughs> Fun thing to do. Well, today we are, uh, his name's David, and we're going to be making um, some French bread baguette appetizer things. Uh, basil pesto rounds, I think they're called. Um, anyhow, I put David in charge of cutting this bread, and this is just a big loaf of French bread. And he's going to be cutting it into rounds. You want to show them that? So there's the French bread, and show them how you're going to be cutting it. Okay. Show, 
had the one down there already cut if you want to. And be cutting in little small things like this. Yeah, and then we're going to put them on a cooking sheet and then uh, brown them up on one side. While he's doing that, move out this way. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting together the topping that we're going to put on the other side of the rounds uh, so that it um, will be really tasty. So I've got two-thirds cup of mayo here, and I'm just using the good old Hellman's mayo, which we in the South, we love Hellman's mayo. Sorry about that. And then I've got a third of a cup of basil pesto. And I'll show you all those jars so you can see what I'm talking about here. Because here is the Hellman's. And then this is the basil pesto. You can just buy it over in the, I got it in the, actually in the international section uh, where the Italian stuff was. And then I've got um, some minced garlic here, and I'm going to put one teaspoon of that, which is equal to two cloves. And then we have a half a cup of grated Parmesan. And I'm just going to mix this up so it'll be ready when the toast things are uh, have toasted up, and we'll smear it on there. It smells wonderful already. So, all right. Well, we'll get back with you in just a few minutes. Make sure it is around. Okay, we're back, and we want to show you how mistakes can be made. If you read the directions in a, in a recipe, it said place under the boiler for five to eight minutes. Well. Every boiler is different, and David is the age of technology, and so he got Alexa, or whatever her name is, to time five minutes. Yeah. Well, after three minutes... She, she helped us out a little bit, as you can see. She, uh, <laughs> we had a few really, really black <laughs> toast rounds, so we had to start over. And this time, David stood right by the oven, and... Look how beautifully they turned out. hot. <laughs> how beautifully they turned out. So now what we're going to do is just flip them all over. And we're going to add the... Um, I've mixed up all the ingredients here. And we're just going to... And I've already showed you that. So we're just going to spread this on here. Like that. We're going to put them back in a 350 oven. So we want a little bit thick, but not too thick because it's kind of strong. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll let David finish doing that. He'll just be putting uh, this all on them, and then we'll put them in a 350 oven and uh, bake them until that melts really good. And then we'll have a little appetizer. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you what I've been doing over at the stove. I've got. Uh, some jumbo shells. I told you we're having an Italian meal, even though we are using French bread here. But uh, I've got some jumbo shells that I've boiled. They're over here boiling. It's just about time for me to take them up. Uh, they got about maybe two or three more minutes. I'm gonna take them up, drain them well, and then spread them out on a cookie sheet so that they can cool. And then we're going to start stuffing them with some Italian sausage. Uh, mixture that I'm putting together and I'll show you how I'm doing that in just a few minutes. So I'll get right back with you. All right, we are back and yummy. Look at these. They are so pretty. I'm going to take one up and put it on a plate so you can get it up closer to the camera. You want to take it up there closer so they can see? Look how great that looks. And boy, you gotta tell how I smell. That's good, that's good. That's hot. <laughs> so it's too hot to taste right now. We gotta let them cool before we can taste them, but I know they're gonna be great. So we're about to eat these as an appetizer and then we'll finish up uh, the main dish in just a few minutes. We're gonna put together a little salad too and uh, we'll be right back with you. Yes, good to see you. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in forever. Look at it, you see the square? Just hit it, Joe. Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm 
preparing the meat mixture that's going to go inside those shells that we talked about. And I wanted to show you, I'm using the sausage, the Italian sausage, and this is just mild Italian sausage. You can use the sweet Italian sausage or the hot, it's up to you. Um, but I took it out of the casings. If you can buy it bulk, that's even better, but I couldn't find it that way, so I took it out of the casings. I browned it up here in the skillet, and now I'm going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm also going to add, uh, I guess, 16 ounces of ricotta cheese I'm going to put in here. And 8 ounces of mozzarella. I'm just going to stir this all up together and then we'll stuff it inside the shells. I've already got the shells over here on a cookie sheet where they will cool off because you don't want to be handling hot shells. These, uh, this way they're nice and al dente here. So we'll, we'll be stuffing those up in just a few minutes and I'll be right back with you. Hey y'all, I'm back. I've got the mixture together and I'm stuffing the shells now. I wanted to show you how we're doing that. Just taking these little shells that we've already boiled and we're just stuffing the... I'm so sorry, my husband forgot to turn his phone on silent. He does things every video I do. So y'all just get used to it. Anyhow, I just stuffed all the this little stuffing in here. It's about two tablespoons worth in there. And then we're placing them right here in this um, container. And now we're going to pour marinara sauce all over it. David, you want to come do that? We're just going to pour it all over. And we just got the regular, you can show them what it is. It's just regular um, marinara sauce. Just a jar of it from the grocery store. And just pour it all up and down there. Don't be afraid. The whole jar is going to go over it. You got more for that? That's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yummy. All right. Now we're going to um, top that with a little bit more mozzarella. And get it right in the oven. I'm going to bake it in three, at a 350 oven until it's nice and bubbly, and I'll let you know how long that took when I take it out. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, y'all, while the um, shells are baking in the oven, I wanted to show you how the cheesecake turned out, and we put the 100 on it because this is our 100th YouTube. Now I'm about to try to take it out of this uh, pan. So let me turn this down so you can watch me either make a mess or get it out good. We'll see. So I've already run a knife around it. So let's see if it'll open. Whoa! Look at that! It came out. Yahoo. Now let's cut a slice. Do you have a, a pie slicer or a cake yeah. slicer? slice here. You get me a little dish to put on. You know the first one's always the hardest to get out so Let's see how it does. I've never made a cheesecake without a crust before. But look at that. Doesn't that look good? All right. Who's gonna be my taste tester? Come on. All right. Take a taste. Oh, 
that's good. That's good? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Oh, and I'm sorry I didn't have a video on your face when we were doing that. <laughs> Y'all, he said it was good. He tried it. So I'll get back with you in just a minute. Hey y'all, we're back. The food is ready. I wanted you to see our great menu here. I'm gonna turn you down so you can see what we got. We've got a salad, very similar to Olive Garden. Even has the little peppers in there. And then we have our baked shells. And of course, our nice uh, pesto rounds, which were great. And then, our cheesecake for the 100th celebration for 100th YouTube video. So we're about to fix our plates and sit down and enjoy this. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video today and will please, please, wherever it is on your screen, click the subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you, and y'all have a blessed day. Hey, y'all, I forgot to show you my sister's kitchen remodel. Look at this. Is this awesome or what? In this huge island in the middle. Oh, my gosh. She's got it made here. So she should be cooking all the time, and I'm going to tell her husband to make sure that she does. Okay. Bye-bye. Talk to y'all later.